Today we will do uh, electric field intensity due to a point charge in terms of Persian vectors. Now uh, as we have seen in this diagram, uh, we have a point charge plus Q placed at point A which is at a position vector R1 from O. Now when we place this point charge here uh, plus Q at point A, it will set up an electric field around itself in this region here. So what we want to do is that we want to find out that electric field at point B which is uh, at a portion vector R2 from O. Now let us write it. Consider a point charge uh, plus Q. Consider point charge plus Q located at A in R. Now let us say the vector OA portion vector OA will be equal to R1. Now uh, we are desired to find the portion vector we are desired to find the electric field intensity at point B which is at a portion vector R2 from O. Now it is desired, let us write it, it is desired it is desired to find the electric field intensity at B. Let us say the portion vector OB will be equal to R2 uh, due to charge plus Q. So this is what we want to find the electric field intensity at B due to charge plus Q which is placed at point A. So the displacement vector AB displacement vector AB will be equal to R12 which is equal to R2 minus R1 R2 minus R1 name this as equation number 1 now we have to imagine that we imagine that a small positive small positive test charge we imagine small positive test charge plus Q naught is placed place at point B point B now if we do that we suppose if we place a, a positive test charge very small positive test charge plus Q naught at point B then we will see this thing as a uh, here if you look here it is as a system of uh, two point charges one of them is uh, Q and the other is Q naught so uh, we already know from Coulomb's law that there will be a force of attraction or repulsion between them so now let us write about the force then the force F acting force F acting on plus Q naught is given by is given by now we will write about the force F will be equal 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q naught by R12 square R12 cap now we will change uh, the R12 cap into a vector R12 or F will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q naught then if we change that this one will become R12 to the power 3 and this one R12 vector since we know that uh, unit vector R12 will be equal to a vector itself R12 vector R12 divided by the magnitude of the vector R12 so now um, 
R12 square with this R12, we will get R12 to the power 3 here. And here, instead of uh, unit vector, we get a vector R12. Now, let us uh, write this substitute equation 1 in this uh, last equation here. So, or f we will have 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, then q, 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 q naught, instead of r12, we have r2 minus vector r2 minus vector r1, divided by now r12, so you have r2 vector minus r1 vector, but this time only the magnitude to the power 3, so we write the modulus because we need only the magnitude so now let us name this as equation number 3 2 because there 1 here 2 so equation number 2 now let us write about because we already know the force so we can write about the electric field intensity so electric field intensity therefore we can write here electric field intensity electric field intensity the electric field intensity e will be equal to f by q naught or e will be equal to 1 by q naught into instead of f we substitute from equation 2 here here so it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q q naught q q naught r2 vector minus r1 vector divided by r2 vector minus r1 vector modulus to the power 3 now after that we sub we cancel a q naught q naught so or E will be equal to uh, Q by 4 pi epsilon naught. Here it will be R2 minus R1, vector R2 minus vector R1, divided by R2 vector minus R1 vector, whole thing to the power 3, modulus to the power 3. Now name this as equation number 3. Equation 3. So equation 3, equation 3, is the required equation required required equation it gives us the electric field intensity it gives the electric field intensity intensity at point B in terms of in terms of position position vectors as we, as we have seen here uh, equation 3 it gives uh, electric field intensity at point B in terms of position vector R2 and R1 so with this we complete the topic today thank you